Hakuna Matata everybody. Thank you for watching this video. I highly appreciate it. So uh, today I would like to show you what a typical mail day for me looks like. And you know what? I'm located in Germany. I'm a trading card collector and sometimes it's very difficult for me to get cards to Germany because of customs, because of very high shipping uh, prices. That's why I decided since a couple of years I will work together with Check Out My Cards, with Ship My Cards and a good friend Nick from New York. So whenever I buy a card from eBay or I try something, I trade something, I ship those maybe smaller, maybe bigger cards to check out my cards or to ship my cards. So this is like a basement for me in the US where I can send in all my cards. This is like my, yeah, let's call it basement. From time to time, I, uh, when I combine like 20, 50, 60 cards, 100 cards, I sent a package to me to Germany. And this happened actually seven days ago, just before the Corona shutdown came to Germany, I received the package in the last day from check out my cards. And I would like to showcase you the package. At first, I would like to showcase you two other things, three other things, maybe two. Um, about other cards that found my my home, um, I will start with a very nice letter. So a good friend of me called Ivan Jukic, he's from Ludwigsburg, Germany. He wrote me a very nice big big letter. Look how nicely it's written. And um, he wanted to say thank you because he was a part of our German card show. And he really felt like home and I like this so when you are with us just feel home just get the good energy and he felt it <laughs> and he wanted to say thank you with uh, this nice letter and a couple of nice cards and I thank you Ivan Ivane Palati Zatosve because right now I will showcase you what he gave me as a small present and it's crazy so it's this package it's many 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 cards so he gave he knows my twin brother Ivan he uh, collected Anton Walker back then and of course he has some Walker college autos one two you know our name is Croatian twins because we are from Croatia we are living in Germany but we are indeed from Croatia Ivan Jukic is also from Croatia, he's very proud Croatian and he's uh, speaking a lot about Croatia and the athletes. So maybe you know a couple of them because we also have some world famous fighters out there in the UFC. Mirko Krokop. Nice card. Stipe Miocic. So I did not have these cards before in my collection. Of the UFC, now I have them. Thank you, Ivane. Another Stipe Miocic. And another Stipe Miocic. <laughs> so I highly appreciate every card that finds the way to my place because I can really feel the energy if somebody gives me cards like this for a present. It's crazy. Then of course another Antoine Walker card, very nice one, of gold standard. I think it's one hundred number to one hundred ninety nine. No, two hundred ninety nine. Yeah. Hope you can see it. This is heavy. A very nice Antoine Walker preferred die cut. This one is number to twenty five. This is big. Another Antoine Walker. Oh, also to 25. It's crazy if you get cards like this as a present. This is crazy. I really like this card. It's again of Mirko, the UFA, UFC fighter, because it has the Croatian emblem, the Croatian logo behind him. Actually, the Croatia has one of the nicest flags in the world. 
Check it out. Ah, everybody knows him. Luka Modric. Luka Modric. Another Luka Modric. This one is numbered to 365. Hey, it's even hand numbered. 38 is hand numbered. I hope you can see it. Pretty cool. Then we have Nico Kranchar. So, oh, this is one from the golden years of Croatia, Slaven Bilic. And actually, these two last are cards are very, very big because this is Davo Shuka, one of the best goal getters in the world. I'm pretty sure many of you will know him. In, two, in 98, he was the top goal getter at the World Championship in France with six goals. He won the, how do you say, golden, uh, golden shoe or something. So this is cool. And actually, Davo Shuka is our neighbor in Croatia because her, his mother is our neighbor in Croatia. So we are good connected to Davo Shuka. So this is cool. And actually, this is a cool card. You can see it through. <laughs> and this one is green and this one is red. So this is it, Ivane. Father ti za ovo sve. Ivan, thank you so much for this package. I highly appreciate it. It will get a very special place in my uh, collection. But we are going on. Then I've got some cards of my good friend Basti, Basti Bone. You should follow him on Instagram and stuff. And Basti Bone sent me a couple of nice cards for my collection. At first, a guy I do not collect, it's Nasir Little. But somehow this card was in a package. A very nice patch to three color patch. I have no idea why I received this one, but it's to 25 and you cannot go wrong with such a nice card. So thank you Basti for this one. Then Luka Doncic, Silver Prism Rookie. Very nice. Still not graded, but will be graded soon. Prism Silver, Power Level. And the card I really appreciate so much. It's again a Prism, PSA 10, but it's cracked ice, pink cracked ice. So I have this card like four times, like this. And I really love it because it's so cool. Pink cracked eyes is so cool. So if you have no clue how a pink cracked eyes looks like, it's beautiful. <laughs> Actually, my brother Artist Bullshit has his logo also in pink. So yeah, this is good. So Basti, danke für das. And yeah, we're going on. Before we get to the big check on my card package, I would love to showcase you uh, cards that I got at the last card show I visited in Germany. Mm. The sun is right here, yeah. So there was a big card show, not that big, but it was near Frankfurt and we visited like two weeks ago. And again, I've managed to get very nice cards for my collection. I had no clues, no clue in the beginning what I would get in the end. But in the end, I came home with some very nice cards. At first, I made a trade with my good friend Nick. No, Nick. Chris. Nick is another guy. So, Chris traded me this one. It's a Chinese New Year. Jamarant Revolution Rookie. It's not numbered, but it looks very, very nice. So, Chris pulled this one by his own. And he actually wanted to trade it with me. So thank you, Nick, Nick Chris, for, Jam for Jamorant. Then a good friend of me, David. Uh, David was with me last year at the National because he was the Fleisch guy, you know, the Olum Gollum type of guy, which was more on the ground than on the top. And he and we made a big, big trade. And I received this card. Again, Doncic Prism, 
PSA 10, but this is the base. Very nice one. I just like this card. It's so classic. I have this card like uh, seven times right now, and I think you cannot go wrong with it. Just such a classic look. Nice picture of him shooting the ball. So yeah, this is a nice one. Thank you, thank you, David. So we keep on. We keep going on. Then I have made a trade with Kaiser King Nico. He's also from Germany uh, in a city called Essen. And he traded me this one. 99 Upper Deck SP Authentic Sign of the Times Trades McGrady. The cool fact is I have this card as the gold version to 25. So right now I have both the normal one and the gold. So very nice. Then a 2000, 2001, and one Fleer Autographics Trades McGrady. And this one is the silver to 250. I hope you can see it. Yeah. The cool thing is about this one I have the normal one, I have the gold one, it's coming later in the check out my cards package. And right now I have the triple complete with the silver, but Wait, wait until you see the gold. <laughs> and the very cool, coolest card of Nico, and I think the rarest one. This is a 99 Cent Legends Epic Signature of Alan Iverson. It's not the signature, but it's the redemption card for the signature. So actually, I have this card as a signature. I have the gold version as a signature to 100, and now I have the Redemption card to complete also this trio. So somehow I'm very picky when it comes to cards. I want to complete the smaller circles. So if a small set is two, three or four cards, I'm going all in and I want to have all of them. And actually, I'm pretty sure most of you do not know that this was a redemption card, but it was. And actually this one is pretty rare. So yeah. I'm thankful for having this one. Okay, we're going. We keep going on. Ha! It's a man's dream, the queen of the '90s. It's uh, she is still the queen for so many men out there. I have to put my fingers at the right spot. But it's signature of Pamela Anderson. Mm. <laughs> So this is Pamela Anderson signature from 94. Very nice one. Playmate for Playboy. Pamela Anderson. So actually you can you can't see too much of her body. That's why I have to uh, put my finger on it, but it's the authentic autograph of Pamela Anderson. And this one is numbered to 2500. Maybe I can show it to you from here. <laughs> yeah, but very, very nice card, Pamela. I always wanted to have a signature of her for my collection and now I have it. This was a great one. From the same guy, I got this one. I got other nice ladies, yeah. So, from the same guy, I got a very nice and very rare Paris Hilton autograph. I never saw a Paris Hilton autograph before. This one is actually from 2010 Razor Cuts. Paris Hilton, there are only eight out there. Eight. And this is number six of eight. You can see the heart. Paris Hilton. So this is a cool card. Like 15 years ago, Pebbles and Kim <laughs> were like the It Girls. So I still think it's a very, very cool card. Perry Hilton. Then another big one. This is the back. It's a BGS 9.5 with a 10 autograph. It's a signature of Britney Spears.
you know, Britney doesn't have that many signatures, but this one is number to five. So this is pretty unique. And yeah, this is a big one for real. Britney Spears. I have another card to show you. I think this is the biggest one from the ladies right now from our German point of view. Because in Germany we have Germany's next top model, you know. I'm pretty sure you have it worldwide everywhere. But our main lady for Germany's next top model is Heidi Klum. And Heidi Klum, she's a big name in Germany. Everybody knows her. And I have a cut signature of Heidi Klum too. And actually this one is numbered to two. So only two out there. So this is a pretty cool cut, Heidi Klum. Yeah, we in, in Germany we say Klum. Maybe in the US or somewhere you say Klum. And I have the number two of two of the Heidi cut. So this is a nice one, Heidi. And yeah, so this is about the card show. Actually, um, I've received two very big cards. I received the 2007-2008 Upper Deck Chronology, 5 star signature, Kobe Bryant, Karina Doljaba, Jamal Wilkes, Elgin Baylor and Magic Johnson, numbered 8 of 10. So 5 Lakers players, Kobe Jordan number, 5 of 10, uh, no 5 of 10, 5 of 10, yes, 5 of 10. Okay, I'm sorry for the last seconds, I'm talking a lot of bullshit. I do not mean 5 of 10, I mean 8 of 10. Kobe Bryant's jersey number. <laughs> Sorry. So, this 5 star signature from Lakers from the Lakers grades is numbered 8 to 10, which is Kobe Bryant's jersey number. This one and 2007-2008 uh, Upper Deck Chronology Stitches in Time Patch Auto Kobe Bryant numbered 1 of 5. I got this one too. So both cars are already on the way to BGS to be graded. So they are not here with me right now. I cannot showcase you them. But they are already on the way to, to back it. I think this can take a lot of time because of Corona right now. And I think they are stuck somewhere. But still, they are on the way in being graded. So we will see when they will return. But too bad I cannot showcase you the cards right now. But we are going on. So right now we are going to the big package. The check out my cards package. And this is actually a mail day. Because the cards that are shown. That I've shown you so far. It's not like really my mail day. It's just like cool cards that I received in crates. And uh, for present. But right now this is like a mail day post for me. So I will start, I, I think I will start small or something, but it doesn't matter. So I have one box. So I've, I've received this box of check out my cards, just like this. A white box. And uh, shout out to check out my cards because they are packaging the cards very well. Very well. And I really like it. It's very easy, it's simple. And for me from Germany, it's much, much, uh, how to say, cheaper and easier. To deal with, uh, to deal with, then get every single card shipped to me like singly. <laughs> so I will just grab some cards and just show you what I have here. You know, I'm this uh, guy with an interview of Cardboard Chronicles called "There's a card out there for everybody," and I mean it. And actually, I even have some cards in here for everybody. And I will show it to you. So at first a nice one. Harry the high star of Home Alone 2. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know him. Harry. Harry the high star. <laughs> pretty cool dude. So I have a very uh, big side collection actually. Of cool cars like this. You will see some other cars in this box later. Um, because I'm not just doing uh, basketball, I'm not just doing football, baseball, hockey and everything. I 
am looking for very cool cars and uh, if I have somebody here and uh, that somebody lady or boy tells me yo I'm a big fan of Will Smith or doesn't matter who I can guarantee that I will have a card that is matching his or her taste definitely so if I have a Kevin Home Alone fan in my building this would be my maybe a card but I have so many cards of, of Home Alone but yeah we are continuing I, I will just show you a couple of nice ones so there's a guy called Zay Jones that's him I'm pretty sure most of you guys have never heard of Zay Jones but if you're looking at the signature Zay Jones it looks very very similar to Michael Jones signature just google it search it on eBay and you will see Zay Jones has a very similar signature to Michael Jordan and this one is pretty cool because this is a preferred rookie penmanship numbered to 99 and this one is numbered 23 of 99 <laughs> so it gives it a little bit of more Jordan taste to it but just google it Zay Jones and I'm pretty sure you will you will agree when you see the name and the signature it has a very uh, John touch to it okay this is cool okay this is cool you know I like rainbows this is cool at first I have a very nice court kings rookie holographics of Trey Young this one is the jade green you know jade green this one is unnumbered I uh, already have the sapphire to 25 the red to 99 the gold to 199 of Trey Young but it's somewhere there it's uh, yeah, I cannot pull it up right now and actually I'm trying to complete all four uh, versions of, of, okay there's a one of one version too but I'm uh, trying to complete the green, red, blue and gold version of Trey Young and of Luka Doncic. So this is the Trey Young. And right now I have all four. And this is Luka Doncic. You see three Luka Doncic. The cool stuff is this is the gold. To 199 this is like the normal one then this is the red to 99 then you have the very rare one the blue sapphire to 25 so actually I'm only trying to find the the green jade parallel of Luka Doncic so I have four for each of both so if you have one let me know I'm very interested in it so this is for court kings we are going on so you know I'm in Germany a couple of my friends do not have check out my cards but I tell them if you see something that that you like let me know and I will get it for you and when I get my package I have stuff for them too so actually a good friend of me Chris he's a big NFL fan and he told me Kiki can you get me very nice cards I said no problem and he decided he wanted to have this Russell Wilson NFL sh shield in silver to 49 and a Russell Wilson NFL shield in gold to 149 so right now I got this pairing for Chris too. Yeah, very nice one. This this is a very nice looking card. It's not that expensive. It's very kind of cheap. I think it was like around 20 bucks. So this is a good card for not much money. So okay, we are we are keep going on. <laughs> okay for my cool card collection you saw Harry the high star 
but also Mufasa. You cannot go wrong with Mufasa. <laughs> so he's a real one. One of the real ones out there, king of the line. Or in Germany we say König der Löwen. I say king of the line. But in the US it's just Lion King, right? Because I uh, say it wrong because I think in German first König der Löwen, king of the line, but it's just Lion King. Mufasa. So Mufasa. Then I have a couple of side collections. It's not just Kobe Bryant, so I'm a big Kobe Bryant collector. My brother used to be a big Anton Walker collector. Indeed, I have some, um, I have very different side PCs. And one of my side PC players are, or is Vince Carter. So I have a couple of guys like Tim Duncan, Alan Iverson, Trace McGrady, uh, Shaq O'Neal, Tim Duncan, um, Kevin Garnett, Vince Carter, Dirk. And this one is very nice, 99 Fleer Focus Fresh Ink. It's not a very big card, but it's a very nice card. And actually, I do not really care about the value. It's more about getting cool cars. It's not about cash flow and stuff. So this is a very cool and real card. So if you have this, the opportunity to get this one, get it. it I think it was like 25 or 30 bucks. So we are going back to my cool cards collection. Bradley Cooper. This is cool. Kanye West and Taylor Swift. <laughs> this was great. So we have Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. So we have uh, Upper Deck Goodwin Champion. Actually, Upper Deck Goodwin Champion, they are making very, very nice sets. It's pretty unique because they are different and actually they are doing very nice stuff. So this is a world traveler map with a piece of Serbia. You know I'm from Croatia, this is a piece of Serbia, but it's still a very cool looking card, it's very sick and it's Serbia. So and actually there is a city on there called Ivanovo. Because my brother is also Ivan, and this is Ivanovo. So this is real. One of the beautifulest cities in the world is in Croatia. It's called Dubrovnik. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have heard about Dubrovnik. This is also a map of Dubrovnik. And 10 miles where I'm living is the Cathedral of Cologne. Of Cologne. And this is actually a world traveler map of Cologne, of Cologne. This is my area. And actually, maybe you can see it, it's, called, it's, it's written Nippes. Nippes is like 12 minutes away from my place. So this is just my, my neighborhood here. So you see, cool cars everywhere. <laughs> so... Okay, we are getting back to my good friend Chris. Like I told you, he's a big fan of football and he likes to have cool cars. And he got some cool cars here. He likes his Nike uh, patches. So this one is from Gary Jennings. Very cool Nike logo. I think this one is numbered to five, numbered one of five. Then we have a top guy called Kyla Murray. Murray. I'm pretty sure everybody knows it, knows him. Also, Kyla Murray. Murray. This one is numbered to 15. And I think the biggest one of those is the 2014 Panini Immaculate Odell Beckham Jr. This is a rookie. A rookie card number to 10. And actually Chris is heavy into NFL and in cool looking cards and if you look at this picture I think this looks dope. All Nike logos. This is dope. And yeah. 
So if you have the opportunity to get nice cards like this, get them. You will not regret them. And I think those Nike Nike swoosh logos or Adidas and stuff are getting more and more into packs. And actually this was pretty cheap. I think this was like 20 or 30 bucks. So yeah, why not? Just try to get them. Okay. We have Kanye West. This is a pretty rare one. I only saw this card once in my life. So I needed to pick it up. Kanye West. The bag looks like this. You can see some other names in the set. Lady Gaga, Rihanna, Oprah. Some cool ones. Madonna. It's a little bigger than, than a normal size, but still a very nice picture of Kanye, Kanye West. So just a moment, we are, we are going on. Okay, perfect. A lot of cards. So, uh, like I told you, if somebody comes to my place, I'm pretty sure I can give them one or a couple of cards that are for their taste. And I have a small cousin called David. We call him David. And so far he he's like uh, very, very, very young. He's a kid. And he did not even have so much uh, touch with trading cards so far. And I've asked him, yo, what's your favorite soccer club? What's your favorite player and stuff? And he said he's a very big fan of Manchester City. And actually in Germany it's very, very difficult to get trading cards because Panini, um, they are not really selling the good stuff in the, in the shops. You can only order them uh, online. But if you are a kid, it's like impossible to, to, to order uh, stuff online because you don't have a credit card you do not have that cash flow around so it's very difficult if you start collecting trading cards in Germany um, to get the cool cool stuff you only get the sticker stuff the cheap stuff like for one one euro but it's it's cool to collect but it's not th this type of cards and actually I've bought them a couple of nice ones from uh, check out check out my cards I bought a very nice John Stones signature, Manchester City, all Manchester City player, Raheem Sterling, base card, uh, Ilkay Gündogan, parallel, this is pretty awesome, actually I know uh, David has a signed jersey of this guy in his uh, kids room at home. That's why I tried to pick up a couple of Ilkay Gunnogans, another one. I think one of the top guys, Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne, he's from Belgium. So actually I think I, there were like two other cars, oh yeah. So I still have three more cards from this package. So. This is a Joe Hart goalkeeper jersey. Then a guy called Nicolas Otamendi. I have no clue who Nicolas Otamendi is, but very nice auto jersey from the Champions League. Really like this one. And I even like this one more. It's a triple jersey. Very exquisite looking. Of Nicolas Otamendi. So, so this stuff goes to my good cousin David, and I'm pretty sure he will love it. So we have to keep going on. Okay. Okay. Then I have a beautiful cousin called Letizia, and Letizia she is 13 years old. And she came to my place and asked me, yo, Kiki. No, I asked her. No, I asked her, yo, Letitia, what kind of stuff do you like? 
and she told me a couple of names. I checked the names on Check With My Cars and other uh, eBay stuff and, and platforms to see if these people have trading cards. And then she mentioned the name Zendaya. You know Zendaya, I think she's a singer, she's also acting. And she was the actor from Spider-Man Homecoming or Far From Home. And actually she has a couple of cards and this is a card of Zendaya and it's pretty cool because because it has a game run I have no idea shirt from Spider-Man movie you know and this will be a present for my cousin Letizia and I'm pretty sure she will love it because at first she will be surprised that uh, there are trading cards for her too because I told you there's a card for everybody and I'm pretty sure she will highly appreciate this beautiful card of her hero Zendaya so okay we are we, we are still we are still going on this is Alan Smilagic one of our Balkan guys and a good friend of me Dimi he told me yo Kiki can you get me some Alan Smilagic cards I said yo Dimi no problem so I, <laughs> I got him the Prism Silver rookie card of Alan Smilagic and his Prism signature of again Alan Smilagic Okay, this is funny because I thought this would be in another box, but this was involved in this package too. Because I showed you all these, uh, I showed you all these Court Kings autographs of Luka Doncic, Trey Young. I showed you the Trey Young green, but I have the Trey Young blue here. This is the one to twenty-five. So I thought it would be in another box, but it was in <laughs> this one. But yeah, like I told you, Trey Young is complete. I only need uh, Luka Doncic in green. It's unnumbered. It's the Jade Jade parallel. So we keep going on. We keep going on. Okay, one of the coolest actors ever. Everybody loves and knows Steve Urkel. Uh, the real name of this guy is Jalil White. Jalil White. A superhero for me and this is pretty cool because this is a Jalil White Steve Urkel signature I think it's not numbered it's of leaf pop century and actually I saw it in my very good friends Instagram Dennis too legit to quit for the very first time and when I saw this one I needed to have it so yeah, right now I have a very cool Steve Urkel looking signature. This is pretty cool. So we have to keep going on. Oh yeah. It's uh, Luka Doncic. So Luka Doncic, I like him. He's like a side project of me, nothing too serious. But uh, he's from Slovenia, I'm from Croatia. And actually Luka Doncic, he comes in our area every summer to have a vacation with his family. It's like 15 minutes away from my home. He's in Croatia every summer to uh, be with his mom and stuff. And they are chilling in the city of Rijeka, Kirk, in Croatia. And this is like only 15 minutes away from my home. So yeah, Luka Doncic, I really like his kind of play and stuff I think he will be the next really the next big thing so everybody who doesn't have Luca on his list change that so this is a Panini Revolution autograph and I, li I really like the, the, the look the picture the beautiful big signature I have this card right now four times and yeah so, you know, sometimes I get nice cards like the Prisms uh, or this card a couple of times because if I'm at the National or if I'm trading with somebody, I have cards to trade. 
So it's no problem to give cards like this away because I'm keeping one. The other ones are like available, you know. So this is a cool card. And I got to show you this one. Oh no, I will keep this one for, for last. So, okay, we are going on with this one. A cool Barbie card. So if you are a Barbie fan, there are even cards for you too. This is a cool Barbie card. <laughs> Barbie. We are keep going on. You know, I'm a big Disney fan. I'm. Uh, this is not Michael Jackson. It's not Michael Jackson. It's more Mickey Mouse. And actually, I'm a big Disney fan. I have a couple of favorite movies. Stuff like uh, Lion King. Stuff like Aladdin. Beauty and the Beast. And I picked me up some Beauty and the Beast cards. Belle with Rose. Those cards are like maybe one dollar per card, and it's not not very expensive to have cool cards. And I consider cards like this, cards like so. There are many many cool cards that are very reachable for everyone. It's not just showing off the big cards. We should highly appreciate the small cards too. This is also a nice one because uh, Belle, she's like the stranger of the village, and this card. Shows her reading the book and everybody's looking at her. Belle. And here also Belle and the Beast. And so what we have here. Yeah. So this is the wheel bell. Also very cool card. With a wheel, I think it's uh, Emma Watson or something. Let me just ch check something. Okay, we're going on with this. So this is from the set from Disney's Treasures. I think it's from 2002. It, I just gotta check the year. No, it's 2003. So this is a 2003 Disney's Treasures highlight wheel of the movie. Maybe you you're able to see through. So this is actually a, a part of the movie inside the card for Beauty and the Beast. So this is pretty cool. I got Beauty and the Beast and I got Aladdin. I think cards like this are like 20 bucks per card or something. But still very, very, very cool to have. So if you have the opportunity to get one of them, I think you can find Peter Pan, Peter Pan, uh, Lion King and stuff. So very, very cool cards. It's a glove. And we have a golden glitter glove with a ice cream. And another one. This has like a flash or something. It's without the. It's without the uh, ice cream. And yeah, let's stay with the glove. So cool cards, not expensive. Michael Jackson. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool card. Michael. I think this is from 82, 80, no, 84. This is a card from 84. <laughs> so. Then another Michael Jackson card. And have you ever seen Michael Jackson with a Llama, or how do you say llama? I think this is a very strange card. So, 
Imagine this. Somebody comes into my place. Yo, Kiki. I like to see some cool cards. I'm pretty sure this is one of those cards I will show them. I will say, yo, have you ever seen a Michael Jackson with a llama? I have a very big collection of very strange cards. Very strange cards. And I think this is one of those strange too because of the picture. Michael and the llama. No hate, appreciate. <laughs> okay, Home Alone 2. Kevin in the Big Apple. So let me just check what I have not shown you so far. Okay, we got some wedding cards here. Okay. Okay, we still have one bell card. This is pretty cool because it has two sides. One is bell. It's called it's called color in card. Maybe you can color it by yourself. And in the back side is the beast. So this is pretty cool. Pretty cool one. So okay, we are we are going on to the to the big